Welcome to this Systems for Dentist training video. My name is David and in today's video we're going to be going through some personalization for the dentist to make it an overall quicker and more pleasant experience using SFD. In this session we're going to look at options such as adding quick text for templates, adding on procedure codes for quick plans and also adding in custom screens for your clinical notes. The first option we're going to look at, however, is how to add a user quick code. Now, a user quick code relates to the bar at the top of a treatment form, which contains treatment items set for that user. To add these options, I can go to the tooth in the top left hand corner and select setup. From within there, we have system, and that's where you'll find user quick. When selected, you'll see that your name is displaying in the top left hand corner. Below that will be a list of all treatment codes available on the system. I can manually scroll through that list or I can search by the filter at the bottom. On the right of that, you'll see a list of quick codes that are already assigned to your user. I simply type in the treatment that I want to add, select add, and that will add it to my list on the right. I can then rearrange the order of my list as well by using the up and down arrows. Once I'm happy, select save. And now that user quick option will then be available from within the surgery view next time I open the patient. Now another method of becoming more efficient in the surgery is to add in your own note templates and they can be used within a patient's clinical notes. Via the quick text icon at the top I can set up folders and within those folders have our note templates. Now to add a new template you need to do it via the setup page, which is by clicking on the tooth in the top left hand corner and setup. In the miscellaneous section, you'll find quick text. Now within the quick text editor, we can add our own content by typing. We can also copy and paste in from another location. Once I have my template set up, I just click save as. This allows me to then select a folder. I also have the option in the top right to add another folder which I can then name and once set up I can then select to save my new template into. Just provide a name at the bottom and select OK. Now that our note template has been saved we can refresh the patient's record to then apply that clinical note. By going to quick text I can select Martin's exam folder and then select the exam short template. By double clicking I can then add it to this patient's record. I can then make changes to the template note and then click save to update. Now you can also customize quick text to make it even quicker to use in the surgery. By accessing the setup page again and going to quick text, we can load up our note template. Now within our template, we can customise the font, the sizing of it and whether you want it to be stand out in bold or underline. We can also change colours of text as well to make things stand out. Now a key feature within a quick text template is the field text. To use this we just select where on the note we'd like to enter our field text. We then get an option on screen to list our potential answers. So for patient complaining of I can add options such as no problem since last visit. And we can also add a lost filling, or in tooth, or any reason that you see fit. Now once we're happy with the options, select OK. And these field texts can be set up in multiple locations on your clinical note. Now that we've added these options, I can go to Save As to save the template. Again, just pick your folders and then replace your current template. Now when we access a patient record and open up their course of treatment, I can navigate to their quick text. Again, selecting the folders and selecting the template, you can now see I have a few please select options. When we click on them, it'll provide those options that we entered. 
That then allows us to quickly add these answers to our patient's clinical note. Now another option for adding notes in SFD is via a quick note. A quick note can be found on a treatment item in their treatment properties. Within there, you've got a section for notes where you can type in the note or you can select the template from the right. Now to add quick note templates, we need to access the setup page. Again, in your miscellaneous section, you've got quick note available. From within there, you'll see a list of all current quick note templates. I can select new to create a new one, edit an existing one, or we've got the option of groups. Now for groups, you'll see we've got a bridge, a crown, and an exam. I can select new to create a new one. I'll create my extractions group and click save. And now I'm going to click new to create a new extraction quick note. I can paste in from another location as well. Now if I select groups at the top, I can tick which groups I want this note to apply to. When I click save, that note is now saved in the quick note section. If I return to the patient's record and open up their course of treatment, I can then double click on the item to load up their properties. Now on the right, you'll see my extraction note template is now available. I can select the group at the top and then double click on the note to add it to this treatment item. Once I'm happy with that note in my template, I just select OK and you'll see we now have a little note icon present next to the extraction. Now once we hit checkout, that'll update the note on the patient's record. Now another option when using a quick note is to assign them to treatment items. To do so, I can go into our setup page and then select items. I can then search for my treatment item and select edit. It'll then load up the extraction properties. I can then select notes at the top and paste in my quick note template. Once I've clicked save, I can then close down the item setup and return to Max's record. Now if I refresh the patient's record, open up their course of treatment, and then apply my extraction item. It then adds the course of treatment to the form, but also you'll see the quick note template alongside the treatment item. If I double click, the template is already loaded in. This means I can then make changes to it, then tick to say I've completed the treatment, and that will then save within the clinical notes. Again, press checkout to refresh that patient's treatment form. Now another option available to apply treatment to a course quickly is a procedure code. We can find these within the tooth in the top left and in setup. By selecting items, we can then create procedure codes within here. If I select new, I can create an item. The item is a code. I can apply its description, select a category, and the type we would select as procedure. Now below, you've got a quick code option, which is if you want to add it to your user quick list. We then click on the schemes tab and then select the scheme we wish the item to be available for. We add in a start date and click save. Now in the procedure tab, we click add on the right. When we select add, it allows us to search for a treatment item. So in this case, we'll set up the denture impressions. You can also set the duration for that visit as well. Now stage one would be our first appointment. We can therefore add multiple other appointments as well to this procedure. So in stage two, we'll add the denture bite. Again, we'll provide the duration and it'll allow us to request that appointment to reception quicker. I just add in my treatments to my appointments. And once complete, I just select save at the bottom. Now if I close that, I can also add that item to my user quick code list. 
at the top of the setup page, select user quick, type in the item and add it to your quick codes on the right. I'm also going to move this up my list as well. Now once I've saved, I'm going to return to the patient's record. Now I'm going to open up a new course of treatment. And you'll now see we have our quick codes listed across the top, including my partial denture procedure. I can use my codes tick box where I can search for the item or select the procedure categories. To apply it, I click on my quick code and you'll see it then creates the appointments with the treatment items. And in this case, it's asking me to select the teeth involved in my partial denture. Once I OK, that has now created my treatment plan. Now I can double click on appointment two and it will retain the duration setting. So it knows that my bite appointment is 15 minutes. Tick it to the clipboard and that appointment will now be on reception ready to be booked in. Within SFD, we can also use treatment completion screens, which are custom screens used relating to treatment. This is often used for x-rays. Now to set up a treatment completion screen, we need to go to the setup page via the tooth in the top left hand corner. We scroll down to the miscellaneous section and select treatment completion screen. Now in there, we'll see a list of our existing TCS screens. At the bottom, we've got the option to create a new one, edit an existing one, and we've got the option of controls. Controls is a list of all the already set up elements within a TCS screen. We've also got the option to duplicate a TCS screen as well. Now if I select new, it will allow me to customize my own screen. I can extend it to a size that I want. And by selecting form at the top, I can give it its name. In this case, we'll create a local anesthetic TCS screen. Now on the left, we've got multiple options we can use for our TCS screen. In this case, we'll use a combo box. A combo box is a drop down list, which provides me options to select. On screen, it'll display the options which have already been created previously, but by selecting new, I can set up my own box, provide a name, a caption, decide whether the label will be displayed on the left or the top, have it in bold or italic, and I can tick to say that it's a required question. If I select add, I can add my options to the combo box. Now once I've completed the setup, I just click OK. That adds it to my treatment completion screen and I can reposition it just by dragging it. Now if you've already set up elements previously, you can search for them and double click to apply it to this TCS screen. Again, we'll do that for a combo box to bring in the LA site. I can also drag to lengthen that option. Now we've also previously set up some check boxes, which are tick boxes uh, for LA warnings given, for any pain, and also to record that we've given post-op instructions. Now another option used within here a lot is the memo. The memo can be used to add in notes. Again, by double clicking, I can add in notes box for any freehand additional notes. I'm also going to select date so we can record which date the LA was provided on. And we'll also select dentist so we can record which practitioner provided the LA. Now that I've added the elements to the screen, I can then dictate the order in which we can tab through the options. On the left, you'll see it's got order. Starting from zero, it'll work its way through each element in a specific order that you choose. Once you've completed your screen, just select save at the bottom. And that TCS screen will now be available to use on a patient record. Now there are two ways to use a treatment completion screen on SFD. The first option, is on the patient record and within their clinical notes. At the top of their notes, we've got the TCS button. This allows us to select a custom screen and input the information and save. 
Now the other way to use a TCS screen is to link it to a treatment item, which can be done via the setup page. In setup, select items, and then search for your treatment item. Once selected, edit, and on that screen, there's an option for custom screen. On the drop down, select the TCS screen and select save. Now that we've set up the item, we can return to the patient's record. Refresh the course of treatment and then chart your item. Once the item has been applied, we then just tick it as complete and it will prompt us to complete our local anaesthetic screen. We just provide the detail and then click save. That will then update on our clinical notes as shown on the right. With the treatment completion screen, we can also merge the answers onto documents. To do so, we need to set it up in the setup page. Firstly, we need to access the treatment completion screen itself. When on our treatment completion screen, we can double click on an element such as a combo box. In there, we'll see the answers which we have provided. Within there, we have a merge tab. Now we mark the tab as active and we can assign it to split between a patient, a parent or contact, and a dentist. This allows me to put in my own text for that answer. On this occasion, I'm going to say that the patient was provided with articane and terminate for a patient. If for a dentist, I can term it differently. Now we would go through, set up text for each of our items, And when complete, we OK. Now we can set it up for every option within our element. And once we have done, we just click Save. Now from there, we need to set up the document, which is also in our setup page. By accessing documents, we can go to Open and use our template. And then we just need to add the merges on. By selecting Merge at the top, I can go to Miscellaneous and select TCS Field. Now I just find each merge. Now once I've completed all the merges and added them to the document, I can also select who the target of this document is between general, patient, dentist or a contact. In this case we'll set it to a patient. Now I'm going to save my template. Now once that's been done, I can open up my patient record, go to their letters, and select new. Select your template, and you'll see it's now pulled through the results of our TCS screen onto the document. This brings in the most recent results from that TCS screen.